Welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. a bottle and I need to grab my coat and yeah that's what's happening um, I found some new running tights from Nike so I'm wearing those they're super soft and comfortable I really like them it's just that they're like a little loose in spots and for tights um, I'd like them a little bit snugger and then Nike Fly Knits best workout shoes ever I just have to go find my towel and then I'm gonna hit the road so, better get going. Hi, Bubby. Hi, I'm home. I'm home. Hi. Look, you're all, you're feeling better today. You're feeling better today. You wanna go outside? It is a balmy 25 degrees out right now. Um, I just got back from the gym. I am beat. Today's treadmill block was so tough. Um, at Orange Theory, if you're not familiar, you do treadmill for like 30 minutes and then you do the floor for 30 and my goal is to always run a 5k um, during the 30 minute tread block and I was well over that today. So I was hustling, hustling, um, but now I'm beat. He just did his business and now he's kicking grass everywhere so his paws are good and muddy when he enters the house. All of you that sent him good wishes, you don't have to because he totally faked it. He was not sick at all. Bubby, tell them you were a faker. You want a treat? That's a yes. And then you can see the Roomba is coming to get us. What I love about the Roomba is that it switches from carpet to hardwood, um, so it does everything. And we swear by this thing. We have it go three days a week. Um, yeah, we love it. Really, Bubba's doesn't mind it at all. It doesn't really bother him. He'll often go upstairs when it's on. Do you like the Roomba? He's your friend. He's your friend. All right. I'm going to get some breakfast in me and then we will and I'll get cleaned up and we'll start the day. I don't know what we're doing today. Broke that yoke. The yoke's on me. Here's my post-workout breakfast. I have some oranges, some multi-grain toast, and then two eggs. Crispy because that's how I like them with hot sauce on it. Not hot sauce, Tabasco. You must use Tabasco. There's a huge difference. So I'm gonna eat breakfast and then get cleaned up. I'll see you in a little bit. I feel like I just can't get myself moving today. It is 11.05 and I'm just finally ready to like get life started. Um, but I did get a great workout in today so I can't complain. We are going to hit the road and get going. I don't know what we're doing yet. So your guess is as good as mine. So something really cool just happened. Um, based off of a conversation I had this morning, Marnie and I were texting and she told me that when she was in choir, she used to stop singing and listen to the magical moment that was happening around her. And I told her that Steven and I often do that when traveling. It's like, I'll take a moment for us and just pause and like, just look at the surroundings and how lucky we are. And this morning, I was hitting every single red light. I probably hit ultimately seven in a row. And I was getting really frustrated at like number two or number three. And I thought back to the conversation with Marnie and I was like, whoa, maybe that's the universe telling me to take a pause for a minute and reflect on everything that's happened over the course of two weeks and all the blessings and just how magnificent life is. And I put on Francesca Battistelli's Christmas album, which is one of my favorites. Um, I'll leave it linked down below. And in that moment, I was finding myself like enjoying the red light and taking pause and just like reflecting and I instantly got a smile on my face. And I think the key to this is, I never would have been able to recall that conversation with Marnie if I wasn't fully present, if I wasn't fully listening and really taking in what she was teaching me in that moment. And here I am approaching a light as you see me <laughs> crawling to a stop because I'm yet again hitting another red light, but I'm not looking at it as a frustration. It's actually a blessing and the universe telling me to take pause. So, we pause. 
So I just swung by like my favorite skincare store and picked up a couple gifts for myself from Joe Malone in this little village. I just found a store that said home decor and stationery, wine and chocolate. <laughs> I mean, it was meant to be. I mean, if I died, that's probably where I should be buried. I am back from a little shopping excursion. And I didn't buy much, but I did get myself two gifts for Christmas from Joe Malone. I'm actually gonna put them under the tree and open them Christmas day. In the mail today, nothing too exciting. We got the Our House catalog. You guys ask where a lot of our furniture comes in our house. This is your answer. This is Our House. It is our favorite furniture store. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is our store. You all know that I really do love to shop local and support local small businesses. So I found this place called French Press. Here is the information. I'll also leave it all linked down below. They do have an online presence, but you guys know I love a good pin and that I keep one on the lapel of my jacket. So I found this one, that's a unicorn. This llama pin, which is just incredible. This one that says, love wins. And then lastly, and the one I'm most excited about, this one just says, be kind. I also picked up Steven's anniversary card because our anniversary is on New Year's Day. I am going to get my coat off, get my comfortable clothes on, and eat some lunch. And then we're gonna bake some cookies and get the sugar cookies out of the way. And I'm gonna share my favorite sugar cookie recipe with you. All right, friends, we are getting ready to bake. And we're gonna start off with my favorite sugar cookie cutout recipe. And that is from Martha Stewart's cookie cookbook. I will leave all the ingredients, all the directions, down in the description box below. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. We have the four cups of flour and the half teaspoon of baking soda sifted together. Now I'm just going to cream together two cups of sugar and one cup of butter, which is two sticks. So let's go ahead and get that done. helps if you remember to lock your bowl in place. And now this is where I make a little change to the recipe. It calls for just vanilla extract, which you could totally add. But what I think makes these really flavorful and different is adding some almond extract to them. So I am going to give it just a splash of vanilla. And like I said, I measure nothing. And baking is when you have to measure. So I measure everything but this part. And then I add a very good, probably full teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just gonna gradually add in my flour. Now I'm going to split this dough in half, wrap it up in saran wrap, throw it in the fridge for about an hour before I bake them off. I have my dough in two discs and wrapped in plastic wrap. And I'm just going to throw these in the freezer and then I'm going to preheat the oven to 325, let these chill for an hour, simply roll them out, cut them out, and bake them until they're golden. I promised you that baking would be really, really easy. And the sugar cookies are really easy, but time consuming. How much easier can it get than taking a box of brownies and elevating them to a holiday standard? I have a trick for you. I've done it many times. People rave about it. By changing out the water and substituting it for a really fruity and sweet dessert wine. My one of choice is the Blackberry Briar. Just any fruity dessert wine, you add it to brownies, it is unbelievable. So I'm gonna follow the recipe, and instead of a quarter cup of water, we're gonna add a quarter cup of wine. So instead of a quarter cup of water, we're adding a quarter cup of blackberry. Look at the beautiful color that is. So that is a quick baking tip that will take your boxed brownies to a whole different level. And they're great to take to a party and people will rave and ask you what you put in them. I thought we would go ahead and open our advent calendars and I'd give you a puzzle update because that's important. Steve and I busted our tails on the puzzle last night and look how much we got done. All right, it is day 21. Let's go ahead and see what we got. 
we got black soap. Refreshing eucalyptus and olive oil. Hot chocolate. Day 21. Another fragrance that smells exactly the same. Cedra Atlas. And yeah, it has a citrus note. Flowery. Smells exactly like the other. Well, I'd say like the other 19 because I really did like that ode. Day 21, way at the tippy top of the Dateek calendar. Roses. Yay. Mmm, that one smells like a bouquet of roses. This is Snow Angel. Relax under shimmering marzipan scented foam and moisturizing cocoa butter waters. This is a luxury bath melt. It smells beautiful. All right, this battery is about to die, so I need to replace it. My best friend Danielle, who you guys met, called, and I'm supposed to drive to her house at 7.30 because we are going to meet up with some of her friends who are also friends of mine at a restaurant this evening and hang out and have a good time. If you're following me on Instagram, you can hang out with us tonight because I'm gonna Instagram story while there. Now I'm gonna start editing some of this footage to see if I've actually put anything together that makes any sense. I'm going to take him for a walk. Steven's on his own for dinner tonight because I'm heading out with Danielle and some of our friends. I am so cold from the walk, but we are back. And now I'm just going to finish editing this. And like I said, follow me over on Instagram to see me hanging out with my friends at dinner tonight on Instagram story. I will leave this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. We'll be sharing our secrets. Dreams come true Let's have a toast for the lovers